The rain has eased in South East England, but there are still two rivers in Kent on severe flood warning, and you can get more information on the environmental line at 0845 988 1188. And it looks as if we're not out of the woods yet. This angry mass of cloud is a developing area of low pressure, which through tonight and into tomorrow will bring some rather persistent rain just where we don't need it across South East England and East Anglia. We could see an excess of an inch of rain and it now looks likely that there will be further flooding problems. So we think there will be further disruption in the next 36 hours, particularly to the southeast of England, where we have been badly affected by floods, and it's certainly worth keeping tuned to the forecasts for the next 24 hours. For today, though, it's a fairly dry scene. We've got a weak weather front, giving a little bit of rain and drizzle, but either side of that, some bright weather, just the odd shower, but a strengthening wind in the north ahead of the next weather system as well. Temperature-wise, 15 or 16 in some sunshine will feel quite pleasant and not a particularly cold night tonight, and that's because we'll have a lot of cloud. One batch moving in from the west from Northern Ireland and Scotland, and as I've already mentioned, that next batch of rain to come in for the southeast and East Anglia. So a wet night here, and the problem is that rain will be quite persistent for something like 12 hours across East Anglia and the southeast, lasting well into tomorrow lunchtime. And then once it clears, even though it will dry up for a time, that next band of rain in the west will push its way eastwards and there'll be some quite heavy downpours as that comes along. Now by Tuesday it does look drier across central and eastern parts but there'll be yet more wet and windy weather pushing into the north and the west. That's all tied in with this area of low pressure here. There's a little bit of uncertainty as to its timing but once it moves across it will give copious amounts of rain, some significant rainfall once again. Still around probably in southern and eastern areas on Wednesday morning followed by drier weather but then squally showers, possibly some gales or severe gales. And even though those will ease a little as we get into Thursday, there'll still be plenty more showers in the north and the west, a little bit drier for southern and eastern areas. But then as we head towards Friday, we've got another area of low pressure possibly heading in, more wet and windy weather on the cars. But obviously the next 24 to 36 hours brings some very wet weather. If you want more details, you can check out CFAX page 400 and upwards.